What's going on guys? Hunter here with Goodman Lawn Care. I'm sure you've seen by the title and thumbnail, it is true, I have bought a mini excavator. This is the Kubota U25 Super Series Mini Excavator. I believe it's 20 horsepower. I think it's an 18 inch bucket with a hydraulic thumb on it. And there she is. So we're about to go in there, get everything done. We need to get done, load her up on the trailer and take her home. And I give you the walkthrough of it and everything. And I got to figure it out, but there you go. What you grinning for? I don't know. <laughs> Got a place to put Mountain Dew right there. <laughs> yep. Let's go in here and get this paperwork done. Yeah. 
all right guys so this is my view from the seat of the excavator i am going to go over some controls real quick and then i'll do a walkthrough in just a minute uh, but i wanted to show you exactly how it works and everything so you could get a clean idea so first of all before you can do anything after you get it cranked up this ring right here has to be down you have to push that down because if this is up nothing nothing does nothing works or anything so if you put that down then everything begins to work so first thing that has to be down so always before you get off and on the thing i always put my uh, blade down so you want to raise the blade up by doing this thing right here that's how you raise a blade and then your right joystick is what raises your main boom and curls the bucket what the right joystick does so your left joystick curls the secondary boom or what i call it and if you twist it left or right that's what swings the machine and then of course these two sticks right here are what drives the machine back and forth also turns it and then this is your throttle the throttles all the way up and it's still extremely extremely quiet with the throttle all the way up you wouldn't think it but it's very very quiet uh with the throttle all the way up and everything so you can see this thing is brand new got 2.3 hours on it and uh, of course there's your key and everything right there and uh so now i'm going to show you how to work the thumb so you see this pedal right there and there's a pedal right there so this pedal right here is what turns the boom right or left of course i just keep it straight most of the time and then this is your control for your thumb so see i push it to the right close the thumb push it to the left it retracts the thumb so that's how all the controls work and everything of course i do have a light right there which you work by pressing this button i don't know if i can get that there that button right there is what cuts your light on on the boom so there's all your controls and everything in a minute i'll hop off and i will do a complete walkthrough but i wanted to show you just kind of the view uh from my from sitting on the machine and everything so another thing i'm gonna quick thing i'm gonna show you real quick it's kind of freaky anybody that's ever run a excavator knows about this but uh when i was unloading it you know it's kind of funny when you're facing this way you know in your mind you're facing forward but you know on these controls you're actually backwards so when you push forward you're going backwards and so you have to go in reverse to go forward when the blade is behind you and everything and so a lot of y'all people are probably thinking man look at this idiot but you know i'm just thinking it's just kind of funny but i've never actually had a machine like this of my own this is actually the most money i've ever spent on anything in my entire life uh but i'm really really happy with this purchase and uh like i said i just wanted to go, kind of go through and show you all the controls from uh the seat and everything so like i said in a minute i'm gonna hop off and i will give you a complete walk around show you my likes and everything about this machine why i got it and all that good stuff so next clip all righty guys it's just about dark but i wanted to hop in here and give you all the scoop on this excavator kind of give you all the little rundown on it tell you all about it why i got it what i'll be using it for all that good stuff all right so first of all I want to start off by saying I got the Super Series U25 Mini Excavator. It weighs 5,600 pounds. Uh, that is a 7,000 pound trailer. Uh, it has two 3,500 pound axles on it and it hauled it just fine here. Um, surprisingly did really, really good. And also I got the thumb on it. Uh, that way I can pick up stumps, pick up firewood, pick up all kinds of stuff with it. Uh, crate myrtles all kinds of stuff with it uh it does have the greater blade on it the blade does not tilt left or right it just goes up and down um has a little light up here on the boom i tried it out earlier it works pretty good uh, i think i said it but this is an 18 inch bucket uh on there i'm just kind of going over some specs as i think about them and everything um and all that good stuff but this is a very very cool little machine um i'll hop on here in a minute and show you what i'm talking about but it has zero tail swing which means uh any way i turn this thing around the back end of it will never pass the tracks right here so if i'm up next to a building or something i don't have to worry about turning around and watching my back end because my back end is never going to go 
past the track. So zero tail swing is what this thing is. Uh, that's one thing, one major reason why I got this one, why I like it, because I'm I'm typically going to be working in landscaping areas uh, around tight places, around houses and everything. So this machine will work perfect for what I'm going to be doing and everything. And I believe when you have the bucket uh, curled all the way in, uh, I believe it can compact to, I think, 14 foot maybe, maybe a little, little more, a little less, something like that. I'll have to go back and look at the specs, but it is a very, very compact machine. Uh, I think it's probably, I think right at four and a half foot wide, um, maybe, maybe a little more, a little less or something like that, but it's very, very compact. I know that this is a very, uh, I don't really know how to explain it. This is a very small machine, but it's also not a small machine. It's a pretty good size machine uh, for, for me and everything. And you're probably wondering what the price was on this thing and i'll go ahead and tell you the price what i paid for this thing uh is thirty seven thousand dollars is what this runs uh that's with the quick attach and the hydraulic thumb on there and out the door everything was right at 37 38 somewhere in there uh i can't remember exactly but so basically forty thousand will get you this machine and uh it's a good little machine i've dug some stumps up over there just messing around with it uh, I've already got a couple of jobs lined up I'm going to do with it. I will be filming it. I'll have plenty of video content with this new machine. I'm very, very excited and happy with this purchase. And that's a quick little rundown there. Just kind of want to go through some stuff with y'all, through some specs, kind of tell you what I know about it so far. I don't know a whole lot about it, uh, but that is what I know. Uh, any questions in the comments? Uh, leave it down below. I'll try to answer them best I can. Like I said, this thing is new to me because I'm not real uh, familiar with it, but I can answer some questions. So anyway, as I said before, I said I'm going to talk about what I uh, will be using it for. I'll be using it, of course, for landscaping, uh, firewood, um, you know, moving debris, hauling off debris. Uh, we do have a dump trailer, so I can, you know, carry the, another truck with a dump trailer behind it and then that truck hauling the, the um, mini excavator and you know we can go haul off debris we can go pick up crate myrtles we can go uh you know pull out shrubs all kinds of stuff with this machine and uh just the the versatility of this machine is really uh actually quite insane it's pretty crazy uh so and i really can't wait to film more content with this video with this machine and actually show y'all uh, all about it what i'm going to do with it and everything and, and i'm just really really looking forward to it i spun the machine around so you can see what i was talking about with the zero tail swing so you can see the back end of the machine is perfectly even with the track doesn't it seat it and uh and everything so like if you're right up next to a building you don't have to worry about the back of the machine actually hitting anything on, the, on that building so i can turn you know all the way around that way however i need to you know and don't have to worry about it so that's pretty slick uh that's a few of the features this machine has uh i've got a lot of i've already got two jobs lined up for this machine and i've actually got another little project uh that i got to get done with it too so you'll see a lot of this a lot more of this machine don't worry about it i know this today's video is just kind of uh short kind of going through everything but wanted to hop in here kind of give you all a walk through uh and i will do more videos with this and kind of explain more as i learn more so there you go that's what i bought really really excited about it i've already been digging some sumps up uh digging some holes and just messing around with it trying to get used to it so there you go